Do you have any family that would like to claim your body? It's a searing look at the death penalty as seen through the eyes of the people tasked with carrying out the gravest punishment in our society. The point of telling that story is for us to ask whether we should be doing it anyway, the ritualistic murder. It works best, I think, to have a person who actually takes us into that be the person that has the struggle. <laughs> Alfred Woodard's new film, Clemency, examining the toll capital punishment takes on both a condemned man I say what I die. and the warden who must put him to death. Your character, Bernadine Williams, is kind of unusual. A black female warden who is presiding over executions of primarily black and brown men. How does she get through it? Why does she do it? Thing is, the system is there, and it's going to operate. So who better to have there administrating this situation than a person, a woman even, because we bring a whole nother level of compassion to the, to the situation than men. And empathy. Yeah. And the, and the thing is, empathy and compassion doesn't look like, oh, like this. It looks like, okay, we get, everybody's going to be okay. Everybody stay calm. Let's stay balanced. This is how this is going to work. Woodard's character's emotional center is shaken after a botched execution. It's your choice. You get to choose. At the same time, she has to prepare for another one with a man who insists he's innocent. I need to eat something. I'm the warden, and I'm fine. Come here. You're not no. driving. Outside the prison walls, the burden of taking someone else's life is taking a toll on her own. I am the warden. Yeah, you are. I do a damn good job. I do a damn good job. I've been on death row, and there is nothing like that breath that you hold, but you step out, and something emotional just takes over. The horror is that it is so uneventful. Just like, here, lie down. You have no history now. Family, he's gone. That is, that is a horror. Woodard, known for her roles in movies like 12 Years a Slave. This is nice. How does your client plead, counselor? And primal fear. The defendant is taking the fifth on whether or not he understands the charges. Met with several female wardens to prepare. They were all sisters. They're all black women. Going there, meeting them, seeing the effect of taking a life. The hardest part was being inside the gates because what you're feeling is, as an animal, we are feeling caged. For another month, I was spontaneously weeping. And then I realized that it was, it was the tears of others. As a mom, some of the raw pain she experienced was personal. We're both moms of black young men. Oh, darling. And we both know that, you know, the preponderance of men in prison, and particularly on death row, are black and brown men. That disturbs me greatly, and I'm sure it does you. Do you too. see my eyes filling up right now? It is, who would have thought when we were growing up in our communities, our vibrant black communities, who would have thought that we would have to be in a state of constant worry every time our sons leave the house? And you know what? If our sons aren't safe, nobody's son is safe. Nobody's daughter is safe. So people, it is happening to us, but everybody should know that when somebody's liberty is, is compromised, everybody's is. The movie opens as public opinion on the death penalty is shifting. For murder, 60% of Americans now prefer life in prison without parole to capital punishment. Still, 29 states have the death penalty on the books, and there are more than 2,600 condemned people on death row. Woodard, an executive producer of Clemency, has been outspoken about reforming the criminal justice system. And I am Tyra Patterson. When I reported on the case of Tyra Patterson, an Ohio woman then serving a 43-to-life sentence for a murder committed by someone else, Woodard was one of the many celebrities advocating for Patterson's release. Tell, if you would, the events that took place this morning 
A black woman, Patterson was a teenager when convicted based on a confession she says was coerced. I took the necklace. Her case became a rallying cry, raising questions about inequities in the criminal justice system. In 2017, Patterson was released after serving 23 years behind bars. <laughs> Failure is not an option for me. It has never been an option ever since I became conscious. Mm. So, yeah. Woke. <laughs> I'm, I'm woke. I'm woke. <laughs> Now, Woodard's new film may get more people talking about race and justice. My hope is that it increases the conversation. The reason that, that things are moving, there is movement in terms of, of uh, criminal justice reform. Are you hopeful or are you more pessimistic? I am a daughter, a great granddaughter of Alec Woodard. He was enslaved in Georgia. And I am the product of hope. Hope is in my DNA. We, I, we wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't hope. You can't get hope out of us. You're going to have to take us all out to extinguish the hope. And Clemency is in theaters next Friday. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.